So, what do pebbles from an Amazonian river have to do anything with the Brazilian embassy in Budapest? It just doesn't make sense. Not for sentido. I, I, I don't get it. Hey guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you may or may not remember that a few weeks ago I came across a very exciting job position in Brazil, in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, and right in the capital of the state, in Porto Alegre. And although I have never been there, I already love this city. It's very close to the ocean, it has a beautiful skyline, and even the name of the city literally means Porto Alegre, Happy Port or Happy Harbor. But if you take a closer look at it in the map, you see it has a neighborhood called Tristeza, which means sadness. So from outside it looks big and happy, but deep inside there is some gloom. I think, I think I can relate to that. And although I have never applied, I kept thinking of the idea of moving to Brazil, so I collected all kinds of information, I looked for different opportunities, I checked out living costs, and you know, I did my little preparatory works. And at one point I decided to check out the Brazilian embassy here in Budapest, maybe I can learn some more about the country and the connection between Hungary and Brazil. So I just went to Google, entered Embaixada do Brazil in Budapest, and I tabbed the first hit. And... Wow! Uh, actually, nothing special, it's just a regular, official-looking government website. It surely wouldn't win any design contest, but, but it's... It's useful, I guess. It says Serviço Consular, which is Consular Services, Ministry do Estado, which is uh, State Ministry, I guess. I'm not sure if it's the right translation, but, but you can guess it's something very official sounding. And also it says Diplomacia Publica, which is public diplomacy. So, so everything seemed fine until I saw this. It says Portal do Itamaraty, or maybe in Brazilian Portuguese Itamarachi, but, but, but it's not the question. The question is, what is Itamaraty? If you're a bit more familiar with Brazilian foreign policy than I am, let alone you're Brazilian, you may already know where this is going to, but, but I didn't. Things for me started to get a little suspicious from here, because you don't have to be an expert in Romance languages, <laughs> nor am I, but if you look at the word Itamarati, it doesn't look anything Latin-based. Especially with that Y at the end, it's, it's very on Portuguese. And also it looked too long and clumsy to be an abbreviation. So my very first guess was that Itamarati may be one of those companies that offer assistance with immigration processes. And this idea didn't come out of the blue, because I met similar companies when I was looking for visa information in the States, in Australia, in Canada, so it might be better to be alert. You know, these companies pay more attention to search engine optimization than government offices do, so it's very likely you meet them first before you would meet the actual official information. And according to my experience, many of these companies, well, how to put it nicely, are not with the best intentions. Then I checked the URL and I saw it said itamarati.gov.br. So that can be two options. One, it is indeed a government website. Two, it is not. It can be a phishing website or just deceptive in some other way. Okay, I have to tell you that this process ran in my brain in a matter of seconds, okay? I didn't spend too much time of overthinking that. Now I'm just retrospectively analyzing the line of thought that I had back then. So I closed the website, but I was still very interested in that word Itamarati, so I made another Google search, Significado do Itamarati, so the meaning of Itamarati, and what I came up with was a Wikipedia article on the municipality of Itamarati. I honestly don't want to offend any of the 8,000 inhabitants of this place in the state of Amazonas, but it looks a little bit too small, too insignificant for the scale of international diplomacy. But at least I found the meaning, it says the word comes from an indigenous language of that region, and it means uh, river of small stones. So what do pebbles from an Amazonian river have to do anything with the Brazilian embassy in Budapest? It just doesn't make sense. Not for sentido. I, I, I don't get it. Laika, do you get it? She doesn't seem to get it either. Okay, but this Itamarati is spelled with an I at the end. So, dear Wikipedia, can you give me any results spelled with a Y? The first thing I saw was two palaces with almost the same name. One is Palacio di Itamarati, which is Palace of Itamarati, which is found in Rio de Janeiro, and the other one is Palacio Itamarati, which is Itamarati Palace, 
it is found in Brasilia. Let's start with the first one. Well, it says, uh, okay, that this building used to host the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. There is some connection here. The second one, Palacio Itamarati, was actually designed by the probably internationally most recognized Brazilian architect, Uscar Niemeyer, and originally it was called Palacio dos Arcos, which means Palace of the Arches. It makes sense looking at the building. And when the ministry moved here from Rio de Janeiro, it brought the name that was already coined to it. So yes, I know it's good to know that I was always safe. Itamarati is the official or semi-official name for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Brazil. So the name is nothing but a synecdoche. Synecdoche is when you refer to a larger thing by naming only one of its components. And this figure of speech is not rare at all. We use it all the time, even at government level. Just, just think of the Pentagon, the US Department of Defense, which also got its name from the building it is residing in. So what's the moral of the story? Well, that sometimes you have to doubt things and then you can get new information, you can learn something new, and, and I think it's a really good thing. If you had similar experience, which I'm sure you did, let me know under the video. I would love to read your stories. But now I really have to edit this video and then pack because today I'm heading out to East to the darkest place in Hungary because I want to see some stars and maybe take some photos of them. So uh, my only concern is that it's a bit cloudy outside. I hope this will clear out by the night. We'll see. Or not. Ciao.